today I'm going to surprise you with a unique technique that I've recently explored. And I know you're going to love it just as much as I do. I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. We are going to use three different types of texture and very thin fluid acrylics to make this 3D textured oceanscape painting. The first texture paste that I'm using is a combination of spackle, acrylic paint, and water. I just mix these all together about a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio and now I'm using it to lay down the basic texture that I want for the sky of this ocean painting. This particular recipe I got from Carolyn Bond when I took her texture and flow course. If you are looking to add texture to your fluid paintings and you want some really great ideas for homemade textures that are pretty inexpensive and easy to make, I highly recommend taking her course. You can find a link to her course in my description of this video. The second texture that I'm using to create the ocean waves is straight up spackle. This is the same stuff that you would use to fix a hole in your wall and I'm using the pink stuff because it turns white when it dries and so that helps me to know when the texture is fully dry and ready to paint on. The third texture that I'm using for the very bottom of this painting is Golden's Crackle Paste. I love to use this to create an earthy, rocky, textured feel. I love the way that the paints fall right into the cracks and create so much dimension and contrast in their colors. And here is an up close look at texture one, texture two, and texture three. I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like as far as the thickness and the depth that I'm getting in the layer textures. For my paints, I am using Olga Sobe's Group Two Pouring Medium with Golden Acrylics. If you've taken Olga's course, and I know that a lot of my subscribers have taken her course, this is another great way to use her recipe. I have found Olga's recipe and layering methods to have endless possibilities. I just keep exploring new things and finding new ways to use them. I find that it is the most reliable pouring medium I have ever used. <laughs> so if you are on the fence about taking her course, here is just one more way that you can use her recipe to create beautiful paintings and explore your own expression. Here I am working on the sky first. I am using some sunset colors and then I'm just tilting the canvas around to get the paints to move in a sweeping motion over the texture that's beneath it. Then I will move on to the ocean waves followed by the rocky sand at the bottom of this painting. When everything is dry, I will come back in with some dry brushing, some highlighting and some low lighting followed by some waves to finish the piece off. Thank you so much for watching today. If you are finding value in this video, I ask that you would please subscribe, turn on notifications, and share with your friends and family.
I wasn't initially intending to add the white caps to these waves, but as I looked at it, I just thought it needed something else. So I'm just using my palette knife to swipe some semi-transparent white across those blue waves, and then I'm gonna to touch it up with a paper towel to create some texture, and then splatter some paint off of a tip of a paintbrush to add the finishing splashes. 
Tell me what you think of this series so far. Are you enjoying it? Are you feeling inspired? Have you started to add texture into your painting journey? I love to hear from you. So go ahead and drop a comment and tell me what you're working on. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the creation of this painting as much as I did. Before I go, I want to give my girl Hannah a shout out. Thanks so much for watching my videos. And as my sister would say, watch out, that looks like a riptide. <laughs>